This flash shockwave video is designed to illustrate some of the many custom features that can be incorporated into a work access platform lift. We will view photos and movies of actual units that we have built and point out some of the features that may be of interest to you. This is a unit produced for a repeat customer with a variety of custom platform features. The first item that you may notice is a rectangular cutout in the side of the platform to accommodate a protrusion on the face of the intended work object. These can be a variety of sizes and shapes depending on customer needs. This customer chose 8 inch vertical toe plates along the working edge of the platform to keep workers feet from slipping into contact with the work object. You can see three of the four lifting eyes that were provided for lifting and placing the unit into position on the work site. The large tubes lying on the platform are safety maintenance devices used to hold the scissor lifts open during maintenance operations and they are not normally stored on the platform. The guardrail system for this platform includes two sets of biparting swinging gates that can be swung open inward over the platform or outward over the surrounding floor. In this case there are no interlock systems for the gates. Additionally there are two pipe stanchions stored on the rear guard cross rails that can be inserted into sockets on the corners of the lift adjacent to the working edge of the platform and safety chains can be stretched across the openings. Note that the control switch is mounted on the far stanchion and gate support. Safety tape is mounted on the workside bevel tow guards, which indicates that no accordion bellows will be used on this side, which is a common omission. The tabs on the lower edge of the bevel tow guards are for mounting accordion bellow skirts on the three remaining sides of the lift. This unit was designed to fit into a recessed pit and as you can see it contained a lot of custom features. This is another large unit with some small differences from the first unit. Notice that the control station was moved to the center of the rear guardrail. The side guardrail configuration was changed to biparting swinging gates that reach across the entire unit. Only one swing gate is mounted in this photo, but the stanchion on the right is built with hinge mounts so that a second gate can be mounted before the unit is shipped. The toe plate on the work side of the lift was moved inboard and lowered to 4 inches. This unit illustrates the feature of fully lowering guardrails. The purpose is to allow easy unfettered access over three sides of the lift when the lift is fully lowered in its pit. Note that the control box is mounted on a pedestal on the work side of the lift. This photo shows the guardrails in the fully raised position providing full protection on three sides. Note that the open sections within the guardrails were filled with clear acrylic material. The protective paper on two of the fillers have not been removed yet in this photo. The retracting handrails on this unit are similar to the previous unit, except the filler material is a mesh instead of plastic, and it's painted yellow. The mesh is mounted to the inner surface of the guardrail to prevent the rails from snagging workers' toes when the rails are retracted. These custom units have very special guardrail systems. The gates on the photos are third-party products that only open inward toward the platform. The large angled plate is a mounting plate for the customer's elaborate control system, and the hole in the plate is for wiring access. Note the indented platform designed to interface with the customer's work object. Also please note that on this unit the upper leg assembly attaches directly to the lower leg assembly. We have a wide variety of standard multi-stage scissor units that afford lots of vertical travel and relatively short platform length. This unit illustrates that the same high vertical travel in proportion to short platform length can also be accomplished by stacking two standard single scissor units on top of one another. Our sales engineers can examine both approaches and suggest the most economical solution. The guardrail configuration on this unit is very much simplified. Typical of many applications, this unit has accordion bellows on three sides of the unit and no bellows on the side that interfaces with the work object. It is good to know that fairly short indentations and platforms can be accommodated with short indentations and bellows as well. Platform configurations are not limited to squares and rectangles. This platform has one side with a considerable radius.
The bottom view of the platform shows how the radius is achieved and highlights the fact that the accordion bellows are fitted to the rectangular lift and the platform radius extends beyond them. This view shows the 8 inch high tow board on the work side of the lift. The guardrails on the work side are removable. Guardrail options include biparting vertical lifting gates that are standard on our mezzanine lifts. Our gates are electronically interlocked so that all vertical movement is stopped if either gate is in anything other than the fully lowered position. This is a relatively simple unit. It consists of a simple platform extension to reach around a work object. There is a simple 4 inch tow board on the work object side. Two pipe stanchions to support a chain on one side and a flat table with small lips on the two outboard edges, and a guardrail on the third side. This view makes it easier to see the platform extension and the 4-inch tow guard. This view also highlights the electric eye and the reflector that protect the long side of the lift. As you can see, this unit was built on a standard MSL scissors lift with a standard power unit, so the unit cost is fairly low. This is another example of a very simple and inexpensive work access lift. This unit is a basic 36 inch travel lift that has a simple fixed step mounted on its side. The gate assembly mounted on one side is equipped with an electromechanical interlock that prevents the gate from opening unless the lift is fully lowered. Thank you for viewing our video. Please let us know if you have questions.